Do white lives matter? White lives? Uh, it's a bit of a tricky question. Um, no, not in the slightest. Yes, they tried to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. I really don't give a fuck about white lives. We're gonna get really political. I don't want to go there. All lives matter. It should. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All lives matter for y'all. I'm glad that brother put that out there because he started a whole bunch of con- your conversation. Man, you're hard to talk to. Really? Why? Because you're making me think that all my answers are wrong. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answer. It's just your opinion. Is that minute almost up? Why'd you go, oh my God, when he said all lives matter? Because, like, before you explained it, it was, like, kind of Republican. Isn't it crazy that that's a political statement? I mean, I guess. It's like if I say, like, no, as a white girl, (laughs) it's like, do I? (laughs) Yeah. But, like, then, I don't know. I don't want to talk now. Canceling is also, like, a form of hate speech. I mean, you're kind of, like, forcing someone to be silent because they disagree with your viewpoints. Even if their viewpoints are wrong, I think people are still entitled to them. They should be able to have, like, discussion without, like, being scared of getting canceled. Because they're white? Agree. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I don't like white people. So you... I swear. I, <coughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy. Bro, it irks my soul. That if you... if a uh, Bro, if somebody was to say I don't like black people and they wasn't black, oh my gosh, the, bro, the world would go crazy. You'll be considered a racist. You'll be considered a, a white supremacist. You'll be considered so many things. If a person was to say, I don't like black people, how can you not like somebody because of the color of their skin? I don't understand. I never did and I never will understand. You cannot explain to me. You cannot justify the fact that you don't like somebody because they're white. It's crazy to me how white lives matter is a political statement. How is that even political? How, how is that even political? It's a, it's a simple question with a simple answer. It's either you say, well, I believe that everybody in life matter, which includes white people. I will take that answer. But when you just sitting there and saying, oh, white lives? Uh, oh, no. Like, how, do, how don't they lives matter? How don't they? How do your life matter? How do your life matter and the white person's life don't matter? White people didn't ask to be white. How about y'all stop sucking on white people? You feel me? And y'all just accept the fact that we're all human and all human lives matter. Just accept that fact. White people didn't ask to be white. Black people didn't ask to be black. Indians didn't ask to be Indian. Mexicans didn't ask to be Mexicans. Bro, nobody asked to be the color of the skin that they are. God just created us this way. He created us all in his image. Y'all people need to wait. Man, y'all need to be awake. For real. Why not? I just don't. Oh, yeah. And again, shout out to Sneeko. This man is back on YouTube, I guess. He was kicked off, but now he back. But hey, shout out to Sneeko, man. I don't like white people. Why not? I just don't. For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. A bit of a tricky question, to be honest, because I saw the uh, fuss around Kanye West's White Lives Matter, and I absolutely didn't agree with the way he was provoking. Um, so I would say Black Lives Matter. How do you think he was provoking? Because as a black man, it, it was a bit odd. It was weird to, to do that. Why is it odd? Because it was not what you would expect. It was not really political correct. I like what Kanye West's dad said. He said it was really funny because it was a black man stating the obvious. White lives matter. There's no reason to get upset about it. It's funny that it's politically incorrect to say that your life matters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it doesn't make sense. Do you think he's crazy? I think he's quite crazy, yeah. Is Ye crazy? Who? Kanye. I love Kanye. He sold a shirt that said White Lives Matter. Oh, fuck Kanye. Bro, what? Are you freak- Bro, are you freaking kidding me? How did you- I love Kanye. That's how I know. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about because I was just confused. You just said you don't like white people because they're white, but then you say, look, Kanye, he just wore a white Lives Matter shirt. Now you just stated that, oh, since he wore a white, a black man wearing a white Lives Matter shirt, now it's F Kanye. How, how is that even possible? You people be the most racist people, but y'all say that white people are the most racist people. But it seems like everybody is so racist towards white people. Oh, wait, I forgot. 
a society say that you can't be racist towards white people. This is being racist. Not liking somebody because they're white. Is that not racist? Is that not? You're judging. You're not liking somebody because of the color of their skin. Is that not racist, bro? You people are really stupid. Uh, like, y'all are really, y'all delusional. It, it, bro, it, society is so sad. It's so sad that we have to come to this point. That every white person, life don't matter because of the color of their skin. Because they're white. That's why their life don't matter because they're white. It's not even no explanation behind It's because they're white. Like, they like they just asked, like, bro, do y'all not realize that two white people came together? They had a sexual intercourse. And next thing you know, a white baby came out. Seriously. It's like black people. Like, two, two black people came together. And boom, here I am. Black. I didn't ask my mom and my father to do the nasty and make me appear. I didn't do that. I didn't ask that. Y'all, man, y'all need to really, y'all need to, oh, Lord. Is he crazy? He's crazy, crazy. Why you say that? Because he's crazy. What has he done that made, oh, makes you think gosh. that he's crazy? He's just crazy. For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. She got to define what crazy is. She got to be joking. Kanye. She got to be trolling. The definition bro. of crazy. Yep. Do you think that Kanye West is crazy? I think he's a very unstable man. Yeah. <laughs> I think he should. I think he's more of an asshole than yeah. crazy, to be honest. Do you think that Kanye West is crazy? Absolutely. Why? Have you seen the news recently? Yeah. He's absolutely crazy. No one should be saying that kind of stuff. What did he say? All of the anti-Semitic. Yeah. That's enough. I, no one should be saying that, and I absolutely do not support him. If you support him and have downloaded any of his albums recently, not a friend anymore. What was what's one thing you would say to Ye right now if he was watching? Bye. 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 What's one thing you would say to Ye if he was watching this? Um, like I don't know. Fuck you. <laughs> um, that anti-Semitism is not, is not cool. cool. Mazel tov, Kanye. I'm fucking up all your best deals. Calm down. Like, drink some tea. And get back on your fucking medication, our kid. Meditate. I love you. I appreciate you. And Thanks. I wish you well, bro. I like your songs. Thank not you. you. <laughs> Try to use your platform to um, bring people together instead of driving them apart. You're so widely respected for your art. Trashing that is just really disappointing, I think. You said what? <laughs> I watch you every day. You speak, right? <laughs> Who? Sneeko or something. Nah, I don't know that guy. Yeah, it has to be him. That guy's an asshole. He deserves to get banned. He did get banned. He did get banned. He's a dickhead. He'd be talking out his ass. So what do you stream now? Or like, what's your what platform do you use? I don't know. NYPD got a website I could use? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> do y'all think Kanye West is crazy? Can we even answer that? Who? <laughs> you think Kanye West is crazy? Like, I think he goes by Yee now, right? Yeah. I think he's getting to help his knees right now, right? He's on some meds. Get it together, man. Come on, what's going on? Did you vote for him? <laughs> I don't know. That's political. Oh, we, can't, no, we can't answer political, political questions. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, officers. Do you think that he's crazy? A little bit, maybe. I, I'm Bro, not... let me tell you something. Okay, Kanye is not crazy. And I, I stand on it. Kanye is not crazy. Okay, y'all don't understand because y'all not awake. Okay, y'all just say y'all woke. Y'all not awake. Listen, Kanye gave his life to Christ, right? And everything that he said about the Jews, guess what? He did. He wanted, it's like Kanye wanted to get from under these contracts. The reason I say that is because the man is a free man now. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have, I'm pretty sure if he really cared about the money and cared about uh, his base or just, just his platform, I feel like if he really, really cared, he wouldn't even say what was undercover. He wouldn't tell what was behind the scenes. If he really really cared about his platform it shows you that he just wanted it's like he wanted out i don't know truly if kanye wanted out but this is how i look at it i believe that kanye wanted out you know what i'm saying because you know that the industry is ridiculous it's a lot of stuff that go on in the industry that that a lot of rappers don't tell you i mean let's just really go deep into the industry look at how many people sell their souls look at how many people give up sacrifices look how many people are dressing up as women as men acting pregnant twerking on devils like look at all the stuff that's going on in the industry it's like kanye really wanted out i believe that he did i'm pretty sure he wouldn't gave up no 1.5 billion dollar deal with adidas you know what i'm saying just like that 
it's like he wanted out. It's like it was all part of a plan. It's all part of his agenda. You know what I'm saying? It's you gotta really look at it like that. Like, man, like if I have one point five billion dollar deal with somebody, I'm not saying anything under I mean that because I never seen that type of money. So obviously it's like, damn, I wouldn't say anything. You know, I wouldn't say anything about this or without that. It's like, bro, he was doing this because it's like he wanted out of this. He didn't want to be part, of, he wanted out of this. I mean, let's just really be honest. I believe that's what Kanye did. I don't think Kanye is stupid. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's stupid. Yeah, he lost a lot of deals, but you got to realize all that stuff, that stuff is gone. That stuff can't come to, come with you to heaven. It can't come with you. So obviously all that stuff was meaningless. Yes, that's a lot of money to have on earth. But when you get in heaven, it's way more riches to have. Way more riches. Pamela was him, so uh, it's just uh, something comes to the news and I saw it and it's a little bit crazy, yeah. If you're not that familiar, why do you think he's crazy? Um, because sometimes I will uh, look it at the news and uh, um, just uh, uh, get information from the news. Should we believe everything we see in the news? Uh, yeah. I think the only thing I can do is trust news because I have no other information comes from other, That's why you brainwash. Uh, anywhere else. That explains so a lot. The only thing I can do is just trust. Yep. Good question. Because he's my friend. And I don't know, he's going a little bit crazy on his words lately. He's your friend? Yes. How do you know him? For three days. Constantly, three days, anywhere, in Massachusetts. Was he a nice guy? Yes, he is. Was he crazy? No. Actually, he talked about good things at the time. But I don't know what's happened to him now. Why he changed? What's one thing that you could tell him if you Giving your life to Christ. I'm telling you, that's the true change. Giving your life to Christ, bro. You start, you start seeing the obvious in, the, in society. You start seeing the obvious in things, bro. And when you give your life to Christ, everything's in you just change, bro. I'm telling you. I gave my life to Christ. I start seeing the hypocrisy within my own community. My own black community. I start seeing the hypocrisy within that. God gave me a voice to speak on things like this. Like, God gave me a voice to even preach his word. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, once I gave my life to Christ, everything just started changing. Everything started changing in my life. Tell you, that's exactly what happened to Kanye. I believe that is, I believe that that's what happened to Kanye. He was listening. If he's listening to me right now, he knows, he told me he wants to build America like Israel. One for all, all for one. Like kibbutz. If you remember that, remember it. I'm Toby, he knows who I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, everybody got a little crazy on them. You know what I mean? So crazy is really everything, because you do, do crazy stuff every day without realizing it, you know what I mean? So, who say what crazy is? Are you crazy? Yes. I am crazy. What makes you crazy? Well, it made me crazy that I work a lot of hours and things like that, you know what I mean? From 9 in the morning to 12 at night, 6 days, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Because I don't have too much time for myself. Now you're trained? He got a point. Yes, it is. Thank you. Have a nice day. He said if you're running alongside a highway in short shorts against traffic, you're crazy. If you do it with 100 people, it's a marathon. That's a good quote. <laughs> you think Kanye West is crazy? Of course not. He's very woke. Yeah, I need to tune in. He's never said anything that made you upset? No. Nope. What about when he said slavery is a choice? That's his opinion. I can't be affected by someone else's choice of what they want to say. Bro, thank you. You don't get affected by what other people say. Nope, that's not my business. Why do you think other people online get so mad about what other people say? Because they're easily influenced by other people's and their emotions are controlled by what they got to say. Oh my God. Do you think we prioritize feelings over facts online? Yes. Of yes. course. Because yes. it just stimulates your serotonin and all that dopamine anyway just by being on social media. So it does that. How do we fix that? Stay off of social media, read some books. Would you wear an All Lives Matter shirt? Or a White Lives Matter shirt? Nah, fuck all that. I'm not into all that. I'm not gonna say that, what I was about to say. But... Oh, say it, come on, be honest. I'm canceled, bro. I wanna hear some honesty. <laughs> you wanna hear some honesty? Yeah. I honestly didn't support Black Lives Matter because the money put into that program was usurped and put into other people's pockets. It didn't benefit black people. We all Thank know that. You. Thank you. 
Is anything accomplished for Black Lives Matter? No. Hell no. No. Just more separation, divide. You think it was one big scam? Yes. 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 You think Kanye West is crazy? Is Ye crazy? Hell no. I support Ye. I love Kanye Thank West. You. Yo, Kanye West, I love you. I love Kanye West. I support Kanye West. I always have all my life. Why do you think people are calling him crazy? I think people say he's crazy because they don't want them to hear what he's really saying, which might be influential. Who do you think created cancel culture? Big media. Who owns big media? Jews. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't know if I can put that in here. Nah, let's stop. But I mean, honestly, bro, like, dog, I, I'm not going to speak on that. Okay, I'm not going to speak on that, but... Kanye said what he had to say. That's what I'm going to say. Kanye said, literally, people don't know. Ah, I want to speak on it so bad, but I, I, I'm not going to speak on it. Come on. Well, yeah. Jews and gays. <laughs> Why you say it so sassy? Are you gays? laughing because you know you said something offensive or you said something that's so truthful that it could get this video deleted? Uh, I laugh because it's the truth. I believe it to be the truth. I know it to be the truth. I know it to be the truth. What is considered hate speech to you? Nerd. Nah. <laughs> Did you know who they are? Uh, I'm you guys. You're being recorded, by the way. Do you guys have a permit? Um, we don't need a permit to, to film like this. It must be on a tripod. Well, this is in uh, your, you have a table set up inside of Transit, which is a private property. Right. We've been filming. I do this for like two years now. Yeah, no, they just came upstairs. You know, Transit came upstairs. They asked us who you guys are. Okay. Do blue lives matter? Blue lives? <laughs> I'm not going Blue lives? Lie. Listen. I fucks with nah I yes I do. You think that Trump deserves to be banned off of social media? I think Trump deserves uh, life in prison for treason or worse. He doesn't deserve anything. No, no rights at all. Trump doesn't deserve any rights at all. No more than that. I think he's. I think he should be a convicted felon and have those, uh, you know, everything else stripped of him. So, so what do y'all say about Biden? Then? What 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 do y'all say about Biden? I, I seriously. Seriously, what what do y'all say about Biden? He don't deserve any man. Man, I don't see convicted felons sitting in giving you an interview. Kanye West is a very vocal supporter of Trump. Do you think that he's crazy? Uh, I think that Kanye uh, West should be embarrassed for himself. Uh, his anti-Semitism is disgusting, and uh, and he's a disgusting individual. Should he be banned from social media? If I ran the social media company, he would be banned. And that's What's why you one don't. What would say to Ye if he was watching this? I wouldn't talk to the man. He's he's a disgusting human being. There was a an incident in Los Angeles today attributed to, to him where people were showing banners over the freeway that said Kanye's it's Kanye shoe that I got on. I support Kanye. I got like three more pair of his shoes. Sadly, Adidas is attached to it, but hey, that is what it is. Attributed to, to him where people were showing banners over the freeway that said Kanye's right and the Jews need to die. Is that really his fault? Absolutely, it's his fault. He's you take responsibility for other people misinterpreting his message. Not in, not misinterpreting. They're repeating his message. Very different than misinterpreting. Misinterpretations can be corrected, um, but repeating his message is very clear. The message he said that he was going to go death quote death con three on Jews, and uh, and as a matter of fact, his followers are. You know, uh, making anti-Semitic statements and the, the Jews should die kind of statement. He's crazy because um, he's crazy enough to challenge himself and also crazy enough to challenge every spectrum in this world. I'm from the south side of Chicago. He's from Chicago. And when he first came out, he challenged everyone's perspective to think differently. And right now, I just feel like, yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy intelligent. He's crazy beautiful. He's crazy problematic. He's crazy in so many different ways that we can't even comprehend because we haven't got there in our psyche yet to understand exactly. what the hell is going on with him. So is he crazy or is he a visionary? Is he just 10 years ahead of everybody else? Both. He's both. He's everything because you're everything because I'm everything. He's just now is challenging everything and everyone's perspective just like white lives matters and white black lives matter. We're challenging where our mind is at, what words, what, what, what words have power and if we're gonna give it power. And we gave Black Lives Matter power because it matters. And there's a huge demographic of this world for so many years that have 
been programmed that white lives are more important, their money is important, their value is important, their, their perspective on all our ecosystems is powerful. And I'm tired of that. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about me. I want to talk about people that look like us, that think like us, because for so many years, our, ma our us mattering has not been appreciated, has of no value. And we have literally been raped and we have been taking all our resources and has been spreaded around the world that we can't even figure out who we are. What's one thing you would say to Ye if he was watching this? If I was to say Ye, I was like, yo, give us, put it in the music. Put it in the music, speak it in the music. We're gonna buy it, we're gonna feed into it because your power is in music. Just like power was in Mozart, power was in Beethoven, power was in, you know, in Beyonce. You need to put it in the music and just leave it there. You don't need social media, you're an artist. Let your art form seek into every person's soul like it does and keep it there. If it's if it's good, if it's bad, if it's politics, if it's relationship, it's if, if it's love, Talk your stuff, sis. put it in your music. Because that's how you start it and that's how you're gonna end. It's because of your music. Who created cancel culture? Everybody created, social media created cancel culture because everybody that logged- Who created social media? A white man, a white man's idea. But the, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know the exact, I know who created it, but at the end, at the, but who made it take it to the next? Man, it's, it's something I want to say so bad, y'all, because people always say, the white man, it's the white man, it's the white, but Kanye already said who it is. And if you do your research, or if you even, you don't got to do research to know the truth. That's why I tell you, bro, you don't got to do research to really know the truth, bro. Just open your eyes out. Just open your eyes, go outside, and you will see everything, okay? Just be awake to everything. Stop, you know what I'm saying? You don't even really have to do a lot of research. Like, bro, I didn't do a lot of research to know the truth behind things. I didn't have to do research to know the truth behind Black Lives Matter. Why? Because, bro, it's obvious. It was, bro, everything is put right in our face. And all we do is look right over it because we look at what the Democrats say. We look at the liberals. We look at what the media say in general. We look at the TV. We look at the news. We look at all that. But everything is literally put right in front of our eyes. And y'all just open your eyes up like this. And y'all start to look, bro. You, you'll be like, dang, bro, I got so much wisdom. And I didn't even have to look this stuff up. I didn't have to look up what Donald Trump did for black people or did for America in general. Why? Because he, what he did was right there. What he did was right there. Obviously, I did a little here and there uh, YouTube videos just to see something. But other than that, bro, you don't got to look up and say, oh, is Biden a good president? Look at everything in America. You tell me if he's a good president. I mean, y'all just, <laughs> you don't need this. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all say the white man this and the white man that, bro, you don't need to look at it and say that the white man this and just open your eyes. If you need to do research, do research. But you don't need to do research to know this. The white man didn't create. I'm not. I don't want to get canceled. Okay. I'm not what Kanye status is at. So I don't want to get canceled. But we all know who creates social media. We all know who run a lot of different things in the world. We all know this. Everything ain't the white man. The white man. Everything ain't the white man. It ain't. <laughs> Next level. You know what I mean? That's really the question. Who is taking it there? You know what I mean? The people's the algorithms that are being shut down, that people are not allowing to be seen. That's who created it. That's what people are afraid of. Is freedom of speech dead? No, because there's platforms like this that make it alive. What if I told oh. you I'm banned on every single social media platform? I would say you're doing your job. You're doing what you came to do. You came to challenge spaces and those spaces don't are afraid of this type of conversations. And that's what we need more of. It's not even controversy about conversation. And I think what we need to do is start to think about humanity as a whole, about whether or not we all matter because the way things are going right now, it seems like nobody's life matters. Man, look at home, the homeless population, look at the jail population, mental health, we had a mental health crisis, food crisis, unemployment crisis. The world is in crisis. So <laughs> the way I look at it, we need to ask, does anybody life matter? That's think Kanye West is crazy? I think the brother, as a clinical social worker, the brother needs to definitely be on medication. I think. He definitely is exhibiting symptoms of bipolar disorder and he needs to be on medication. What's one thing you could tell Ye right now if he was watching this? Brother man, get your mental health in order 
and then come back and say all the stuff you've been saying. I want Bro, even if he get his mental health in order, y'all always say the man, he, your man got mental this and mental that. Even if he do, bro, guess what? People still not going to listen. Why? Because people are not opening their eyes. They think they're woke. They always say, open your third eye, open your third eye, bro. This is how this is how you can know the truth of what's going on in America. I'm gonna give you the step back, the breakdown, step by step. Number one, get closer with God. That's number one. God will reveal things to you. He will give you revelation over all of this. Okay, how do you think I'm so wise at 19, bro? A lot of people say, "Oh, you're stupid. You're just a kid. You're you need to grow up." But at the end of the day, age don't need age on me. A jack. You could be 30 years old and still not know the stuff that I know. I'm just being honest. Age don't mean jack. Get closer with God. That's number one. Number two, open y'all eyes. Everything is put right in front of y'all, but y'all look over it. Sometimes the truth hurts. The truth hurts, but it's better to get the truth than to be sold a lie. You know what I'm saying? And we've been get, we've been getting sold lies, lies. The government, everything been selling us lies, but the truth is right there. We just look over the truth. When somebody speak about something that we don't agree with, we consider a lie. Instead of doing research about it or just stared and opening our eyes and listening, like Candace Owens, she speak facts, but a lot of people don't like her because the facts that she speak, they put their feelings over that fact. They say, oh, that's not true. That's not true. She don't know what she's talking about. She's anti-black. I want to consider him crazy. I'll just say he's on another level. What type of level? Universal level. Can you explain that a little more? I mean... It's kind of, it might, it might make me seem crazy, but he's just universally in tune. He know things that we don't know. He know things that, 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 that are beyond the eyes. You know what I'm saying? You know, what you can see is what you, what you think is what it is, but that ain't what it is. You heard? So that's, that's the best way I could put it. Why do you think they're trying to ban him off everything? Because he's exposing everything. <laughs> He's exposing the, the everything, like you know what I'm saying. He's exposing everything. You just gotta pay attention to what he's saying. That's it. What's one thing you would say to Ye right now if he was watching this? Keep exposing him, homie. Don't stop. You heard? You rich. You heard? You're a rich black man. Keep it going. Do you think we saw freedom of speech? Ha! Huh. I we have, conceptually we do. Is that it's something that happens in practice? I don't know. You know, I think. From what I see on the media, a lot of folks are talking about um, they're being censored, and if they call out certain things, they live to regret it later on. And so, you know, our freedoms are being challenged today, and the concept of freedom of speech is really being challenged, especially in this age of digital, the, 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 the rapid fire of how much information is spread around and the way people have the opportunity, have the ability to edit what they want to edit, like this. This could be whatever. I can make you look racist if I wanted to. Ooh, ooh, you sure can. You sure can. You sure can. <laughs> so it's, it's in, this, in this whole thing, it's like really being careful about how we use social media, what, word, what messaging we put out there, um, and also just honoring each other's humanity. That's the main thing, I think. We got to start re-honoring humanity and stop pivoting so much on what comes out of people's mouth. Because a lot of the time, people say a lot of things and they're just talking. You know what I'm saying? They're just talking. I believe don't no one deserves to get banned on social media unless you're a rapist, a pedophile, or something of that nature. And, those, and, and that's basically your content, where you, you promoting child abuse or something like that. Like I'm saying, but I, I don't think that if you talking and you express how you feel about certain situations, they should cancel you. I'm saying, or, or have any input on what you, what, you, what your content is, especially if you're not doing no rapist shit. I'm saying, or no pedophile shit. You ain't, you ain't promoting no, no foul shit. I'm saying, I don't see why they should take it away from you. You heard, or, or, or ban you, or none of that. They just know that too. A person has, 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 has a grip to the world. Yeah. People listening to you, people know what's going on with you. You, you, you can move the crowd. When they don't like when people have certain a certain amount of power, and and for instance, your power will be your followers. So now we shut down your followers, and we shut down. You have no following. So now you just by yourself all over again. That's where I'm at right now. You're gonna make it through it though. You're gonna be alright. Just... Thank you. That was a good interview, bro. What would you say to EA right now if he was watching this? To who? EA, if he was watching this.
I would say, be careful what you say, because they're going to take it a lot of different ways. And I say, I'm behind you. That's what I would say. I would say, I'm behind you. Who do you think created cancel culture? I don't know. Who created, I don't know. Who controls the media? Good hmm. question. Ask Ye. Who do you that, think controls the banks? Hey, ask Ye. You know what I'm saying? Ask Kanye. He already exposed it. I'm not gonna say it though. I love me. I'm just not gonna say. It. Look, look. I got a dream to. I got dream to Kate chase. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but hey, ask Kanye. I expose a lot of truth, but when it comes to that, bro, look, it's just certain stuff I know that's better left unsaid. But I'm glad Kanye exposed it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he exposed it. I mean, I already knew it, but I'm glad he said it before I did. Hey. Actually, yeah. Yo, thanks for coming on. I've been seeing your videos. Of course, Andrew Tate, you know his mulatto ass. I've been seeing his videos. I love it, man. It's good stuff. It's people that, uh, it's conversations that people aren't having, especially just men. They're not having these conversations because of, let's say, cancel culture or like uh, being politically correct. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's like um, what's correct and right by people, not just groups of people you know in general we're at a time where we need to all hold hands or it's all gonna go down the drain and we all fuck the earth is fuck why do you think they're trying to trying to divide us because it's easier to control people that aren't unified Woo! that's why jobs don't want unions starbucks now i think you're you're wow trying to trying to say this is censorship but i don't i don't believe that censorship and see it as punishment i see it as punishment I'd like it to be punishment. I think when it's the ex-president, that's a level of censorship because that's an influence. You're, you're thinking about him as a man, Donald Trump as a person, but this is somebody who was the leader of the free world. Well, I don't believe he was the leader of the free world. It's a title, but you understand what I'm saying. Cozying up, cozying up to Putin the way that he did in, Hel in uh, Helsinki. Cozying up to Kim Jong-il that he did in South Korea. And that makes him by association. My point is that singling out and like trying to point it at his ego and saying that he's addicted to Twitter is minimizing the fact that you're seeing it just as punishment when a lot of people probably should hear what the ex-president of the United States has to say. That's what I think. Um, okay, you're welcome to your opinion. My opinion is... That punishment, not censorship. My, my opinion is, is, you know, put him on an ice floe and set him out in the sea and let him melt and let the whales eat him up. I mean, I'm, th this man has damaged America. Trump should be sentenced to death. <laughs> uh, treason is punishable by death. Bro. It's... Bro. I'm, I'm at loss for words, y'all. Seriously, I am at loss Do for white words. lives matter? Oh, my gosh, I did not want that to play. I am at loss for words. Now, Sam, uh, how... You people are ridiculous. You people are ridiculous. It was a lot of people in this interview that they spoke the truth. Which I I truly like I truly love when people speak the truth and they don't beat around the bush. But then the last guy, when you talking about doing this to Trump and doing that to Trump, bro, that shows your character. See, I'm not go I'm not gonna like I'm not just gonna say I don't like you because the color of your skin. What I'm gonna say is I don't like you. I'ma love you because you're a brother and sister in Christ. And I was called to love everybody, but I don't have to like your character. You know what I'm saying? I could like you just i could love you because you are my brother and sister in christ and god called me to love everybody but i don't have to like the character that you portray and what you just said about trump that just shows your character you're an evil old man you're an evil grumpy old man bro <laughs> seriously you live this amount of years and you still grumpy and just old bro. I, I i just cannot stand old grumpy people i feel like every old person should be blessed to even still be alive seriously but um man honestly dog with the whole kanye situation i love kanye you know what i'm saying i love kanye i support him i'm right behind him i believe that things are best said un uh things are best unsaid you know but at the end of the day like i said kanye he wanted to get out of this bro he wanted to this is not nah he wanted to bro i'm telling y'all it's right there you don't even gotta do research on it. you don't even gotta ask him just just look at everything he was saying it's right there but y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh in the comment section below um shout out to ye you know what i'm saying shout out to sneeko i guess he's back on youtube this post posted like three days ago oh wait is this in the brand new channel i don't know but hey man shout out to sneeko uh i love each and every one of y'all man god bless stay blessed peace <laughs>